Isn't it great to just come home after a long day and put on that TV show you've been watching for God knows how many weeks? Or maybe you like to relax and put on that long film that you've been waiting to watch. Sometimes it's hard to choose, but what is the difference? Over the last year, I've watched a number of film and TV shows, more than I've watched over my whole life. And I've started to notice certain differences and techniques that filmmakers use to give their films and shows their identity. Well, one obvious difference between the two is narrative structure. The average film length is two hours, and most films follow the three-act structure, which is the setup, the problem, and the resolution. And I personally love it when films break the three-act structure properly. An example of a film that breaks the three-act structure is Avengers Infinity War, as the protagonists lose, and there's no resolution at the end of the film. So in a film, you have to introduce a character, give him a problem to solve, and have them solve that problem all by the end of the two hours. I mean, if you think about it, it's quite a lot to pack in that amount of time. And because of this, it's quite easy to rush character development. Because in most films, only one character's life is explored, and everyone else just lives in their life. However, in a series, there's plenty of time to meet everyone. Let's take the show Better Call Saul, for example. The main character is Jimmy, but you know every other character in the show as well, and their lives and what they do. And that's the art of TV shows. They allow you to embark on a more intimate journey with the characters, and by the end of it, you feel like you're part of their lives. Because if you think about it, TV shows usually set their episodes over the course of 24 hours in the timeline. Assuming you watch an episode a day, it feels like a day in that life of the character has passed for you as well, making you more immersed. But that isn't the only difference between the two forms of entertainment. The way we consume films is very different to how we consume TV shows, as we mostly watch our films in the cinema. Which brings me on to my next point, which is aspect ratio. Have you ever wondered why films have black bars when you watch them at home? Well, that's because films are made for the aspect ratio of cinema screens and not your TV screen. Most films are shot to fit the cinema aspect ratio to give you the best experience in the cinema. And this aspect ratio is much wider than the TV you have at home. That's why when these films are converted to stream on Netflix and other platforms, they now have black bars to fit within your TV. But have you noticed that most TV shows fit to your TV's aspect ratio and don't have black bars? Well, it's because they're made for your TV. <laughs> I know it seems obvious, but a lot of people don't think about this. And this once again keeps you hooked to the show as it eliminates the amount of distractions. One thing I've always stood by is you cannot make a good film without good sound, as the sound is more important than the video. And films use sound differently to TV shows. Films usually have those cinematic scores that give you goosebumps towards the end of the film. Whereas TV shows don't really have that. Of course, every TV show has its own theme song, which is instantly recognisable when you hear it outside. But every episode has its own theme, a new song to match with what's happening in that scene. I mean, imagine how boring it would be to hear the same song in every episode when there's something interesting happening. Shows can also get away with longer moments of silence or just plain dialogue. Filmmakers are always pressured by the fact they need to keep a good pace in their films to keep your attention, but TV shows are a lot more lenient. Imagine you had to watch a whole 10 minute sequence with no dialogue in a two hour film. You'd get pretty bored, right? That's a big chunk of the two hours with no dialogue. I mean, I'm sure there are films out there that have done it, but does it work? Do you keep your attention to the film or do you just drift off? What I'm trying to say is, it's easier to drag out a scene in a show than it is in a film. That's a reason why there are so many filler episodes in so many shows. So, what do you prefer watching? Films or TV shows? Do you prefer going to the cinema? Or watching films from the comfort of your home? Let me know in the comments and maybe we can learn something from each other. I did not make this video to hate on film or TV, as I love both. This is just a way of educating you on the main differences between the two forms of entertainment. Let's just enjoy them for what they are.